I'm actually surprised that uh, Australia haven't. Australia versus New Zealand. Oh, oh the seas are handy ones as well. They're no balls and they're extras. They're everything. And they're a free hit. Got it. He's got that well. That is how you deal with a free hit. Lobbing away in the air out. What a soft one. Oh, what a disappointing one for Brennan McCullum. The first time he decided to do something and it ends in tragedy. Oh, a little bit of a mix up. Have to run this. Could be ace hit. I said, oh, that's another bad one. That's another really bad one. For New Zealand, a total mix up there. There was hesitation. And he is, well, he did the right thing, Gupto. He got the, the big dive in. He's going to unfortunately get the bad news come up on the big screen. Out. He's on his way. So that is. That's fine. Little test, fine leg. And he won't get round. So a welcome boundary. Nicked and gone. Big edge from Stewart, fitted it through to Haddon who took the catch and Mitchell Johnson has struck as he's done all series. Cut away by Taylor, he's found the gap, beautiful shot. First boundary for Ross Taylor, he'll have 100. Oh that's a beautiful cover drive, that is smoked along the ground through cover. Ross Taylor at his best. That will probably be more wides, I would think. Five more to the total. Got the Novas. Oh, short and wide. Taylor gets a piece of that. Area that he's very strong. Races away for four. It's wait, wait, more wait, wait. the line that uh, Horrocks has bought. Another piece of poor fielding, and that'll go all the way down for four. Most stunned Australian there. And that was Mitchell Johnson and the crowd. Love it. Oh no, Ross, what have you done? What have you done? You've done it again. Why, oh why, oh why? That's swept, that'll be four. So that's where he's trying to get the other one, but on that occasion, Nathan Horrock. Short one pulled away, so Vittori, couple of boundaries in the last couple of overs. Try and create pressure. Well, he has left him up, and Scott Styrus, having attempted to play that shot the over before of hopes, gets this one more. Yeah, so. Oh, that's gone high and long, and that's gone all the way. That's halfway up the stand. That's a biggie. Yeah. Well, dragged it on. Inside edge, just at the wrong time for New Zealand. And it's been so typical of this series. And that's what happens. I do not believe it. I absolutely do not believe it. Down the track. Oh, that's nearly collected Doug Bollinger. Not even sure whether he got his hands up. Good shot. Oh, that's in the air, but it's gone. Another four. So again... A little outside edge and Brad Haddon does the rest. Yeah, very good catch. I think this is almost an under edge. Strikes it pretty well there, Daryl Tuffy. What a good start from him. He goes down and he goes over the top and a really good blow all the way, is it? Might be just short. He goes across, he gets a top edge. This should be a simple catch. Johnson decides to take it himself. Caught and bowled. Daryl Tuffy's got him. Has he got him well enough? There's a man back there. Yes, he has. Over the top for six. What a good blow. Oh, he's got that. That has gone very high. It's not going to go for six. It could be out. Ponting lines it up and takes it. So a wicket from the final ball, it's Daryl Tuffy who played very well for his 36. In the Caribbean. He's got a habit of striking early, but Watson's been in the habit of scoring runs. 
And that one doesn't get through to all the Gareth Hopkins. Oh boy, lucky. Very lucky. And to the tune is four as well. He's full and driven. And that will be four runs. Beautiful piece of timing from Brad Haddon. And that'll run away. So a boundary off the last ball of the Shane Bond over. Eight from it, 13 without loss. With his bowling. And that'll go for four. Straight back down the ground. No problem at all for Brad Haddon. And Daryl Tuffy nearly wore it. Not like that. The Tories' dodgy knee won't run that one down. Jim's on and he's come a cropper. This will be out, will it? Yes, it will. Bond has bounced him. Sally's taken the catch. So the balloon trick has come up trumps. Oh, brilliant piece of work, whoever released that. Oh, that's a rough snorter. It's got glove, has it? Has it got glove? Yes, it has. Well, Ponding doesn't agree for one second. And Gary Baxter has been convinced by the New Zealand appeal. Well, that one swung away, Macca. And it's swung away for four. Oh, what a strike. What a magnificent cricket stroke. But he's got to get it right. This is straight up. Has he got it right here? I think he has for Tory. Safe as hell. He won't drop it. No, he won't. Oh, he'll be absolutely thrilled. His young quicks picked one up. Betting in any other position. Oh, that's straight down the ground. That'll be four more, will it? I don't think Daniel Vittori will catch up with that, and it will be four. A little bit streaky. Oh, well, that's powerful. Really powerful. No point chasing that one down. Oh, that's a little edge, is it? Yes, it is, said Asad Ralph. Oh, that's a bit of a heave. It's an effective one, but it's most unlike Michael Hussey. This time he gets a behind point. Could be back-to-back -back boundaries. It's making pace across the outfield, and it gets there. In the air and out. Yeah, Nathan McCullum, what a huge wicket. Ross Taylor takes a pretty simple catch. Hussey, though, he's the key, Mr. Fix-It. Yeah, and that's why he has picked his gap beautifully there, Mike Hussey. It was just a little bit short, and he pounced on it. Fired the circle. Well, it's pulled away. What a bad length. Oh, and he's got four for it. Could it be heading this crucial period of the match in New Zealand's favour? Very solid and through. What a nice stroke. Finally got something with enough width to get it away. Oh, he's hit that well. I think he's going to hold out here, though, Johnson. Yes, he has. He didn't get it nearly well enough. Franklin, the reserve fieldsman, takes the catch. An Australian hour, seven down, and in a world of pain. Oh, this will be four. Yeah, we're still in a power play overs here, so not much protection. Well, that's a big blow. That's uh, right into the solar plexus of the New Zealand side. Really up to the bowlers from here. That was wide and gone. So it's Horrocks. He just sliced it away. Scott Storris was the man who took the catch. And Australia have now lost their eighth wicket. Straight up in the air. Should be taken. And is taken easily. It's Martin Guptall. He's had a quiet night in the park tonight. I've seen before. Over the top. As far as the man in the deep. And it's Tim Southey who appropriately has the last say. He's bowled well. He's taken four wickets. And now he's taken a very good catch. 